everybody. I'm Deanna Sassetta. Thanks for joining us. 25 minutes after the hour, here are this morning's top stories. An Albuquerque man is arrested after he reportedly exposed himself to a teenage girl. Deputies say Mario Baca was drunk when he decided to sit outside naked in his front lawn. The parents of a 15-year-old girl called police after she reported seeing him. When asked why he did it, Baca told police he was outside urinating. Police arrested Baca on aggravated indecent exposure. If convicted, he would have have to register as a sex offender for 10 years. Senator Jeff Bingaman has a new fight on his hands this morning. He's gearing up to battle Republicans over funding for Border Patrol. The U.S. House passed a bill Saturday cutting $60 billion in spending for the hundreds of government programs. Bingaman and two other Democratic senators have sent a letter to House leaders warning those cuts would mean the loss of 870 Border Patrol agents and would limit surveillance systems. Senate Democrats will oppose those cuts. New Mexico Senate Majority Leader Michael Sanchez says lawmakers are reviewing whether Governor Martinez's nominee for Public Education Secretary is actually qualified for the job. Hannah Scandera has never worked as a teacher or administrator in an elementary or secondary school. While the state constitution says the job must go to a qualified, experienced educator. The governor maintains Scandera is the right person for the position. First, it was Borders, and now a locally owned bookstore has filed for bankruptcy protection. Page One has filed for Chapter 11 to reorganize the company and come up with a plan to pay back the store's $1 million in debt. Page One is located in the 11,000 block of Montgomery Northeast in Albuquerque. The bookstore first began selling books back in 1981. Right now, look at the weather. Here's Kristen Van Dyke. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning. It's going to be beautiful today with mild temperatures, partly to mostly sunny skies. Winds will be out the southwest and it will be a little bit breezier up in the northeast. We'll stay mild through Wednesday, but by Thursday, the next disturbance will move our way and that will bring in the chance for a few spot showers, mainly in the central and south southwestern part of the state. Though we could see a little light snow up in the San Juan Mountains. Highs today, feeling very pleasant down in the southeast. 74 in Roswell, 56 for the metro. Mid-40s in the Four Corners, 58 in Silver City. We'll top out in the upper 50s for Raton, 68 in Tucumcari. And the warmer weather is going to stick around. Here's your seven-day forecast for Albuquerque. Highs today again in the upper 50s, down into the low 30s tonight. We'll top out near 60 degrees tomorrow with plenty of sunshine. A little cooler Thursday and Friday with more cloud cover around, and then we'll see those temperatures move back up to near 60 for Saturday. We'll see the next chance for showers move in on Sunday. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you for joining us. For continuous news weather updates, you can log on to krqe.com. Have a great morning, everybody.